Welcome back everybody. So this video is uh, kind of unique. I put together just like a highlight reel of my entire 2020 deer season uh, from October 1st all the way through December and uh, what a season it was. It's a season that I don't think we'll ever be able to match. Uh, in all honesty it was really really amazing and uh, I want to thank all all you guys that watched all the videos you know throughout the whole hunt, hunting season I tried to uh, get the videos uploaded as soon as possible usually within you know the next day I had the video of that day's hunt up which uh, I took pride in getting those videos up to you guys as fast as possible but uh, I want to know which uh, hunt in general was your favorite hunt of the season so in this video you're gonna see pretty much every successful hunt we had and I want you to uh, uh, write in the comments which hunt was your favorite one to watch throughout the whole season. I'll be curious to see what everybody uh, thinks about that, but let's get right into it. I really appreciate everybody watching, and uh, I hope your season was was uh, just like mine. Have a good one, everybody. It is the fourth day of October, and uh, Brock and I are going on a little bear hunt this morning, or this evening. Launch the first arrow of uh, the 2020 archery season. Well, here's uh, here it is, everybody. This is uh, this old girl ran about 35 yards from the hit, and uh, she piled up. Put your seatbelt on. You're in for a wild ride tonight, I think. November 3rd and uh, I'm gonna get in a, a few hours sit before I gotta get to work but absolutely beautiful morning out here The feeling that overcomes you when you send an arrow through a mature buck, when you work so hard to do that, is almost, you know, it's what I live, I said it before, but I live for this. I mean, I wake up and go to bed thinking about this. Look at the blood trail up through there. Ready to rock and roll. We're up in a tree and we're uh, right off the back edge of this field. Right here, right in this uh, back corner. There's a huge ravine right here. And these bucks run top side of this ravine right off the edge of this field scent checking this field up here they'll run right through here I don't know you can see there's a humongous trail right here and we want them nice and close so I'm rocking the uh, sage samic recurve
My body's just shaking uncontrollably. I, I'm just really nervous of that shot. I'm gonna have to give that thing all day long. I'm kinda, you know, down in the dumps about it, but you know, what are you gonna do? The only, the only one, uh, the only person to blame is me. Uh, I made a bad shot and I accept that. The morning of November 7th now. We're over here in Pennsylvania. I'm right in that same pinch point uh, that I hunted when I shot that buck with a recurve right here at seven yards. I'm in the same exact spot. This morning we got a beautiful fresh layer of like three inches of snow and I wanted to uh, sit up here in the shanty overlooking the food plot this morning uh, before I had to go to work. Uh, I have the crossbow here and I got a few doe tags and if I get a perfect opportunity I'm going to shoot a doe. That is a huge doe. Look at the freaking head on that thing. I mean, the, the bulb is bigger than the deer's head. And this is a mature doe. You know, I've put a lot of work into these food plots and make sure that the soil samples are right and that uh, everything's right on the money and it really pays off this time of year when we start getting the snow. Welcome back everybody. Kaylee is here with a crossbow tonight. We're sitting over the same spot we've been sitting the whole time here in the corner overlooking Nebraska and the uh, standing corn to our right. Kaylee just got her first deer ever with a crossbow tonight. Smell it and see if it smells like guts or anything. It don't smell really bad. Oh yeah. Look at that down there. Rock in tonight, so thanks to Cliff for all this hard work. <laughs> What's the scoop, Carl? He's done. He's down. You, you killed Rocky. I killed Rocky. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Look at that thing. Yes. Give me some skin. Yeah, really nice kill. That was a long shot too. Yeah, Look at that slob. 300 yards. Buddy, it is November 27th. And Kaylee and I are going to go blow the barn where Rocky was killed. We're going to sit right over the field that's got all that uh, triticale winter wheat uh, mix planted in it. And Kaylee's going to try to uh, fill a doe tag tonight. There's not another buck, you know, in that woods or even anywhere around there that we would even shoot. Just squeeze the trigger nice and steady right on her shoulder. Yeah. I think you yes. shot, yeah, you shot right under it, I think. Here, let me right. Okay. Yep. No, you smoked her. You smoked her. Yeah. She's done. You got her. Okay. 
She's a big old girl, isn't she? <laughs> One twenty seven point one zero. Oh, do they go back down? I'm thinking tonight's gonna be a really good night. I think Kaylee might put the Swahili on uh, one of her big old mature bucks tonight. What do you think? Time will tell. Can you see him good? He's right on the edge. Dropped him. Just did that really just happen? 314. Oh my god. You're gonna shake this thing down. Did that I What a luck, babe. Well here he is everybody. Kaylee and I just ran up there and got our tag filled out and dragged the deer back over here on the other side of the bank from where we're hunting. So uh, we're gonna continue to hunt tonight and see if we can't double up, but. Holy crap, guys. That's big brow. That is big brow. That's a different buck. That's the second biggest buck on the road. We have the two biggest bucks on the road in our back pocket. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He's got his uh, beautiful eight point. Biggest one he's ever shot. We don't need your... This evening we're sitting up in the shanty overlooking Nebraska and the corn and then we got that strip food plot down here and uh, there's a couple different bucks up here that dad is looking to kill. Uh, Holding right high shoulder. How, high how shoulder. ticklish is this trigger? It's just, it's ticklish. Just hold the high shoulder, okay? Let him turn sideways. There. You got him. He kicked. That is the buck we're talking about. Oh my God. That's the bull he ate. Holy shit. <laughs> He's a giant. <laughs> God, I'm glad I got him after. You know, I had him in my sight so long. Oh my gosh, Dad. This thing loaded up and off we go. Go down everybody, go down. That was a long shot too. Now, here she is, everybody. My first ever deer with a pistol. He thinks he put a head on one of the big boys tonight, so we're gonna go up and see, see what we got. This would be three big bucks off the farm in two days, so we'll see you up there. Right here. Okay, everybody. Uncle John killed the deer we call Hulk, an absolute giant. The track job was no joke, but we got him, by God. Well, we just put a tape on him and he's a little over 20 inches wide outside. Three 20 inch bucks in two days on the Bailey farm. <laughs> Unreal. Jeez. Welcome back, everybody. I'm gonna be taking my uh, yeah, you gotta watch what you say now, Grandpa. I will. 
I'm gonna be taking my grandpa up to the uh, shanty sit overlooking the Nebraska food plot in the corn tonight. And uh, we're gonna see if we can't get him a nice big buck. There's here comes here, here comes a deer, Grandpa. Right through the woods there. Right your way. Yeah, let that one get out of his way. I think you hit him. You got him. You got him, <laughs> Grandpa. <laughs> you got a heck of a buck. Let me see what time it is. 4.43, Grandpa. Smoked a good one at 4.43. <laughs> yeah. What do you think for this life? <laughs> <laughs> he was a fighter, though. He just, looks like he just broke that off. That's the 14th one of my lifetime. Is it really? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Heath will be open to shooting a big doe, but if a nice buck comes out there, he's gonna let her rip, too. So, we'll see. Heath, you never killed a deer before, right? Nope, the first time. This will be Heath's first first deer kill ever if it happens, which I would be honored to be with him. We're gonna take the old five wheeler and cruise it right down to the to the hunting shanty here. Be able to make a little bit of a stock on this big doe that's out over here at 400. If we walk up the edge of the fence, we might be able to get a shot at her over there. So, up to you if you want to give it a try. You can sneak out and go right up the edge and get a shot at her over there. Can you see her? It's to your, yeah, right there. Okay, whatever. What's that? Okay, take her whenever. There she is. She died right on the edge. Okay. You got your first deer kill. Got one. Do people eat those? Yep, they're good. Take it home and give it to Aunt Beth. Yeah, she wouldn't eat that. Hold this second crosshair is a little bit higher than normal, too. That's the one, the one right? Yeah, the one closest to the corn. Yeah. Okay, everybody, we're back. Chaz had to boogie to work, but we got the doe. She ended up running about 240 yards. Bet it down two different times before she finally died, but. You ready? Yep. Oh, yeah, you got her. She didn't like it, I could no. tell. <laughs> Jeez. That's where she stood, yeah. <laughs> Big old girl. Uncle John, with his muzzleloader tag, just took out the buck we call the upper eight. And he is toast. What a stinking buck. We're back to Ohio, and we're gonna give this another try here in about a week. I'm gonna. Here's my first ever Ohio deer. Big doe. 